What's going on everybody? Jordan back here with another video. Uh, sorry it's been a while. I've been, uh, had to get another job because of the COVID stuff. We, car business has been slow. But uh, nonetheless, trunk, truck content will be coming out here soon. I've got my truck back. It's been to three different mechanics. They can't figure it out, so I'm about to just start throwing money at it. <clears throat> Sorry, this uh, all the pollen and stuff going on right now is is getting to me. But uh, today we are actually working on the boat. Uh, I've already started on the other side. Me and my dad. You can tell it's got some some oxidation going on with it. So we're just gonna we're gonna buff it up a little bit, clean the interior, make it look nice. So uh, enjoy the video, and like I said, we'll. We'll get some truck content out here soon also. Uh, but yeah, sit back, relax, watch. <laughs> fresh washing the seats right now uh but i'm gonna show y'all this side which is like the uh i always consider it the passenger side but this side with the driving with the steering wheel and everything on it and i'm gonna show you the side that's done uh there's a huge huge difference between both sides and I, i'm not gonna sit here and claim that i am any good at buffing but this right here has definitely uh, it's definitely turned out pretty good. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin this around right fast and show y'all. All right, as you can see, all the oxidation and this side out here was definitely worse because it was like right up under trees and stuff, so it had all the uh, all the sap and stuff like that on it. But I was having a little bit of trouble getting around this little gas flap, and obviously I haven't done this out here. We're, I think we're just gonna put some acid on that and press walk it. But it looks so, so, so much better. It's not even funny. You can tell it's not oxidized anymore. There's a couple of spots you can still see, like the numbers and everything. But as far as being clean, I mean, there's a, there's a big difference right there, you can tell. Uh, dirty versus clean out there. So, we'll stop out there. It looks it looks ten times better. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do to it today. I've gotta go over to my buddy's house. So uh, I'll uh, I'll see y'all here in a few. Alright. I uh, I changed shirts because the other one was nasty. Uh, I'm gonna drive my Duramax over to uh, my buddy Chandler's house and I'm gonna videotape what it's doing for y'all just so y'all can see it. I um, really don't need to be driving it, but I don't know. I'm going to video it and let y'all see. But uh, yeah, it's it's been to three different mechanics around me. I'm not going to name them, but <clears throat> one of them just, he was kind of a, he was, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I don't want to say any, any bad words because I'm trying to keep this channel uh, PG-13. But, I mean, he, he's a good mechanic and everything, but I just don't think he's, I think he's more of a part swapper. Uh, the other mechanic, which he didn't really work on it, he told me to take it up to the Chevrolet dealership and have them look at it. And, cause he was thinking it was the ECM, but he wanted to send it up there to the uh, Chevrolet dealership to double check and see if that's what it actually is. But I took it up there to the Chevrolet dealership and they said that since this truck has been uh, tuned and deleted and everything, that they can't touch it. So anyways, I'm gonna film it and see if I can't get it on camera what it's, what it's doing, so hold on. So it's actually doing fine right now. Uh, I'm 
normal. Sometimes I ain't, like just sitting here, just like this right here. I'm just idling. I'm still in gear, but I'm just sitting here idling, and it'll just be, you know, constant. Just like uh, I don't know how really how to explain it. It's like it's giving it gas, taking off gas, giving it gas, get, taking off gas. So I, that's why I'm thinking it's the ECM too. I'm kind of with uh, with the uh, one mechanic and. Uh, I just haven't haven't done anything with it. I've got an ECM on order from a uh, flagship one FS one, and it hasn't it hasn't even shipped yet. They were supposed to ship it out within three to eight days, but they're you know pretty much backed up right now. So I understand that. But uh, oh, come on now, let's just red light would change. Here we go. All right, and let's see if it'll if it'll do it right here. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what it's been doing. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to, to tell in the video because it, it kind of jerks me back and it's kind of hard to kind of hard to videotape it when it does that. But uh, I've got other videos of it. It's just you can't hear it. Uh, but what you want to do is watch the RPM gauge and you'll see it kind of dip down and. You, if you, you have to listen real closely because this, this camera or this this phone doesn't really uh, pick up the sound all that well with it so but uh, if you pay attention real fucking, real close then you should be able to hear it but uh, yeah that's pretty much what it is it's almost like it's just uh, I wouldn't say it's losing boost because uh, I think losing boost is, is something completely different but it's uh it's like it's cutting in and out so at, at this point my my course of action is i've got the ecm on order so it should be here within the next week or so hopefully and uh if that don't fix it then i'm going to uh i think it's got something to do with the ecm the ecm is messed up but uh if the ecm is messed up then or not, not the ECM, but the uh, the CP3. I don't know why I'm saying ECM, but uh, if the C, if it's the CP3, I've been told my buddy Colby he, he told me to just put a lift pump on it, which is going to take all the strain off the CP3. But at the same time, the CP3 will still be doing some work. So I'm thinking, why don't I just replace the CP3 in general? I don't know. I think I'm just going to put a lift pump on it and see if that works. Because the CP3, I want to say they're like. For a remanufactured one, I want to say they're probably around five, six hundred dollars for that. The lift pump itself is around seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. So, uh, but yeah. Anyways, sorry about that. I, uh, I got caught up hanging out with hanging out with Chandler, and uh, he just bought his own place. So, just kind of hanging out with him. Uh, but yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Uh, the next video is going to be installing the ECM and the lip pump and all that kind of stuff. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a little before and after uh, clip of it. You know, put an ECM on it, drive it down the road, see if it fixes it. Uh, and then same thing with the, uh, the lip pump and everything. So uh, that's it. I'll see y'all next time and stay tuned.